top dictators of all time. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Super Top 10s. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Without checks and balances, laws and proper institutions in place, tyrants and dictators can quickly consolidate power and cause a tremendous amount of suffering. Sadly, every once in a while, politicians and leaders decide to do things their own way, much to the dismay of the masses. From communist leaders to tribal despots, these cold-blooded dictators do not care for the value of life as much as they do achieving their selfish motives of domination, power, and immortality. Here are the top 10 dictators of all time. Number one, Robert Mugabe. President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe is said to have risen to power via electoral deception and fear-mongering. In one election where he did not receive any votes in a certain province, he orchestrated the killing of 20,000 civilians by fabricating stories of rebellion and treason. During his time in office, over 3.1 million Zimbabweans lost their homes, jobs, and livelihood due to his land reform program, aka bulldozing any village that voices dissent. Number two, Vlad III. This tyrant's association with vampires and Dracula are well placed. Vlad III killed countless numbers of people and delighted in violence and the cruel treatment of prisoners and rebels. He enjoyed impaling his victims and supposedly even bathed in their blood. Number three, Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il had nearly a quarter million people arrested during his rule and is directly responsible for the starvation and deaths of millions of North Koreans. Number four, Genghis Khan. Khan spent time as a slave during his teenage years before he united the Mongol tribes and went on to conquer a huge part of Central Asia and China. His style is characterized as brutal and historians say he slaughtered civilians in mass. Number five, Francisco Franco. Francisco Franco was a Spanish captain general, the highest military rank in the country, who later ruled Spain from 1939 to 1975. Franco was a hard conservative who firmly opposed the establishment of the Second Spanish Republic in 1931. It was in 1936 that Franco, along with other Spanish generals, launched a military coup against the newly elected left-wing government. It was the beginning of the Spanish Civil War. After winning the Civil War in 1939, Franco imposed laws banning his political rivals and protests. He executed close to 200,000 people during his regime. Number 6, Omar al-Bashir. Omar Hassan Ahmad al-Bashir ruled Sudan for three years from 1989 to 2019. His regime witnessed one of the bloodiest civil wars of the African continent. Al-Bashir seized power in 1989 after a successful military coup, which ousted Prime Minister Sadiq al-Mandi. President al-Bashir and his government received international attention in 2005 after it brokered peace with southern rebels to end the Second Sudanese Civil War. The peace treaty leads to the formation of South Sudan as a sovereign nation. In 2009, Omar al-Bashir was indicted by the International Criminal Court for war crimes in Darfur. It was the first time in the history that a sitting president was charged with such a misdemeanor. The war in Darfur, often cited as one of the world's worst humanitarian disasters, caused nearly 3 million people to displace and registered 300,000 deaths. Number 7, Adolf Hitler. If Adolf Hitler had died in 1938, he would have gone down in history as one of the greatest leaders in history. He turned the ruin that was Germany after the Treaty of Versailles into the greatest country on earth. He was adored by the German people. The poor loved him and the common people loved him and the rich loved him. Everyone had jobs, everyone was happy. He did more to protect the animals and environment than almost any other world leader in history. Hitler started out leading a country with no military and in five years he had a military strong enough to conquer the world. If it hadn't been for the war and especially the Holocaust. Number eight, Kim Jong-un. After the death of Kim Jong-il in 2011, his son Kim Jong-un became the supreme leader of Korea. In 2013, Forbes magazine ranked him the third most powerful Korean after Ban Ki-moon, former Secretary General of UN, and Lee Kun-hee, chairman of Samsung Group. Since Kim Jong-un came in power, he reportedly executed several North Korean officials, including his uncle, Jang Song fake in 2013. It is also believed that Kim ordered the killing of Kim Jong-nam, his half-brother, in 2017. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.